Come fly with me, let's fly, let's fly away. If you can use some exotic booze, there's a bar in far Bombay. Okay, big invisible blue guy armed with a minigun and killing Brahmin at midnight in a town with a giant dinosaur statue. I wish I could make this stuff up. What the fuck is this thing? This guy is huge. Holy crap, they grow up big in the Mojave. Uh, I can barely lift his arm. Come on, let's have a look at you. I oh, shit! Ah! Fuck. Ah, oh, screw that. Ah, oh, so... Is this supposed to be the Chupacabra? Ah, uh, it's some kind of mutated... person? Thing? I... I have no idea. This, on the other hand, is something I do recognize. Christ, it's a personal minigun. I would be making a joke about overcompensating, but I'm not entirely convinced that thing back there even have anything to compensate for, if you get my meaning. Oh wow, this thing is falling apart in my hands, literally. Oh, I must have shot it by accident. Ah, uh, forget it, it's beyond salvaging. Yeah, let's get out of here. The owners of that ranch must have heard the gunshots. They can discover that mutant in their own time. You know, as much as I hate to admit this, that no-bark person was actually right. I mean, okay, he got the details confused, but that really was an invisible mutant with an automatic weapon. His interpretations are a bit messed up, sure, but at least he's observant. Huh, maybe he knows some other things as well. Well, I want to tell him about what happened back there. And if he knows anything about Boone's wife, then that's all the better. Hey, are you awake, no bark? I need to talk to you. Oh, I'm sure he's awake. Okay, why is there a mannequin pointing a gun at us? You know, on reflection, barging into the home of a paranoid maniac at midnight might not have been one of my better ideas. Here, here. Don't let them get the antidote. No, oh, it's just you. You can't have it either. Oh, don't worry, man. I think I'll stick with the doctor. So, uh, listen. I wanted to talk to you about the Brahmin Ranch. You see, I- You've seen them too, haven't you? I can see it in your eyes. I knew I wasn't the only one. Yeah, well, don't think you can start any religious cult over that thing, cause it's kind of dead. Feel free to go and cut its head off and make it into a trophy, but I killed it, so I want it on my wall, got it? Anyway, has anything or anyone else been going weird around here recently? I don't trust a man that doesn't have something strange going on about him, because it means he's hiding it from you. If a man's wearing his pants on his head, or if he says his words backwards from time to time, you know it's all laid out there for you. But if he's friendly to strangers and keeps his home spick and span, more often than not he's done something even his own ma couldn't forgive. Well, that's a very interesting way of looking at things. I suppose if that's true, then you must be the most normal person alive. <laughs> but I don't suppose you know anything about Boone's wife and what happened to her. Seen it all. Really? Seen shadowy folk come to his room and leave again in the middle of the night. Go on. Thought one might have gone in the lobby too for a spell. Could be that person went in to get something. Or used a John, maybe. Uh. Mighty interesting either way, you ask me. Yeah. I thought it was cannibals, come to eat us all for sure. Um, so I kept out of sight. But now I know better. Oh, I certainly hope so, because I can tell you right now there were no cannibals involved. I don't think so, anyway. Uh, never mind, so you found out who it was afterwards? More rat men. Come up from the underneath to steal young women with promises of riches and fancy mud mansions with all the latest designer appliances. They covered our lady folks' long hair for wigs, it said, being either bald or balding themselves. Yeah, I think that's as far as we're gonna get with this guy. Uh, well, thanks for everything, I guess. If I catch any, what is it, mole rat people, I'll get you a souvenir, don't you worry. If anyone asks, we never spoke. Oh, of course not. I haven't forgotten my pledge yet. I don't want to mess up my chance of joining the No Bark Secret Agency, especially if there are any good-looking women involved. You can count on me. Yeah, if this guy goes crazy, just put him down, Eddie. I'm off to find the Morat people now, so hold the fort until I get back, okay? Right. I don't know what kind of drugs he uses, but I'm honestly tempted to try it myself. 
Well, I don't exactly have anything else to go on right now, do I? I admit the only worthwhile thing he said back there was to check the lobby, so let's just start there. Besides, even if Manny is the culprit, I don't think I want to risk pissing off a former NCR soldier just yet. Especially if we don't have any proof. I want to keep my balls intact, okay? Come on, I know it's late, but surely they have someone on night shift here. Um, or not. What the hell is wrong with these people? First the store, and now the closest thing to an administration building this town has? There's something called locks and keys, everybody. I know it sounds like a radical thing to do, but maybe we should think about locking our doors when we're not around. It's not going to stop me, sure, but come on. I'm just a guy with a shotgun who doesn't give a shit. Not everyone out there is like that. I'm unique. I don't even know what the hell I'm looking for, but I guess a floor safe is a good place to start. Oh, thank God, they actually locked this thing. Oh, think about it. There could be birth certificates and all sorts of dirt in here. Maybe I got to blackmail people after all. Who knows? The possibilities are just endless. And there goes the lock. Ah, uh, that took me about, what, five seconds to crack? <laughs> what the fuck? If this is how well they safeguard their files, then I'm leaving this place the first chance I get. God, look at all this paperwork. Aha! A town map. Yeah, that's useful. And there's... Why is there a rolled up piece of parchment in here? <laughs> that is archaic. Are we living in medieval times or something? Bill of Sale. <coughs> right. We, the representatives of the Council Officio... Eh? Uh, whatever. Have this day bargained and purchased from Ginny Mae Crawford of the Township of Novak the exclusive rights to ownership and sale of the... Slave Carla Boone? What? For... For the sum of 1,000 bottle caps and those of her... Oh... No... An unborn child for the sum of 500 bottle cap... No, 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 surely not. No way. Ginny May's the one who did it? How the hell did I not notice this? Ah, uh, my bitch says they must be off tonight. Well... Ah, oh, shit. I always thought the day I don't know what to do would be the day hell freezes over. If so, then I should send Satan a jacket or something. Well, this map says her house is just down there. Look, Lady Luck, I know you probably don't give a shit, but if this is your idea of giving me good fortune, then you're fucked up in the head, no doubt about it. What do you think I'm doing? I'm gonna talk to her. Look, if this thing is genuine, then we have our culprit. I'll try and pin this on Manny some other way, don't you worry. Right, she's probably asleep, but stay... Okay, looks like we don't even lock our own front doors anymore. I honestly hope they're doing this deliberately. Okay, how do you wake someone without being rapey? Oh, just like hey that. There. Oh god, this is not gonna work. Is everything alright? Ah. Awful late to be dropping in unexpected. Well, you see, I, I, I'm really sorry to bother you at this time of night, but um, it, it's that dinosaur. I don't think it's structurally safe anymore. I mean, I'm not an expert, but I saw a pretty nasty looking piece of rust on the foot of that thing. Look, it, you know what, it's probably easier if I show you, if you don't mind. It's getting pretty dangerous. Okay, if that's what you think. Really? Uh, okay, then lead the way. Huh, bullshitting like a pro, Eddie. Oh, and uh, I already told that sniper to leave in case that thing collapses. He wasn't exactly a friendly guy, but you know, safety's first, right? What's wrong with him anyway? Nothing that wouldn't be wrong with any man who loses a wife, I suppose. Poor dear. His wife? I know he thinks she was kidnapped, Shh, but I'm, I'm not so sure she didn't just run off on her own. You could tell she was thinking about it ever since they arrived. Uh, if you say so. What was she like? Hardworking, perhaps? How should I put it? I guess you could say she was kind of like a cactus flower. Real pretty to look at, but... There was just no getting close to her. Go on. She never did take to living here. She liked the big lights and fast living of New Vegas. Uh-huh. I got the feeling she was trying to get Boone to leave with her, but I guess she got tired of waiting. Well, she should have thought about that before she married him. Uh, but anyway, I don't know if you can see it that well from here, but, um, wow. Oh, whoa! Son of a... Huh! I... I... You... I was 
not ready. Um, I was not ready for that. Jesus Christ, that beret barely touched my fucking head. Oh, that thing could have taken my head off. I mean, it would have if it was any closer. Just look at this. And of course, he's not going to come down and help me get rid of the body. Oh, man, I did not think this through. I am covered in blood and grey matter over here. What am I going to do with this? Oh, is this a bridge? Well, I hope there's some water down there. Then this cliche will be complete. Uh, not really, but it's going to have to do. Ugh. So, uh, anyone want to say a few words? Oh, whoa, Eddie, that's a bit harsh. Fair enough, she was secretly an evil bitch who sold a woman and her unborn baby to slavery, but we've got standards for goodness sake. Well, I'm sorry, but I left my shovel back in Good Springs. And who knows, it'll take them, what, a couple of minutes at least before they find it? Well, it's not even gonna matter anyway. First thing in the morning, they're gonna see that patch of blood back there and say, Huh, I wonder what happened here. It looks like brain. Smells like brain. Tastes like... Hmm... Brain. I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think someone got shot here last night. Look, just pretend nothing happened, okay? It's just a guy and his robot having a little walk at midnight. We're cool. Don't mind the blood. I, uh, tripped over and cut my leg, that's all. And my face. And perhaps the entire left side of my body, but, you know, this sort of shit happens all the time. Ugh. Hey, enjoying the view? It's all done. Uh, I should have stayed in bed. That's it then? Yep. How did you know? Oh, I don't know. I just had a hunch. Uh, okay, okay, please stop staring at me like that. I was kidding, okay? I was kidding! Jesus! Um, well, believe it or not, they actually put everything in writing. Take a look if you don't believe me. Uh, once a receptionist, always a receptionist, I guess. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. It'd be like them to keep paperwork. <laughs> Here. Oh. This is all I can give. Thanks, I guess. I think our dealings are done here. Well, that's one way of putting it. You're making it sound like you do this kind of shit all the time. You know, I'm actually glad if that's the case. How are you planning on getting away with this? Uh, you gotta skip town for a couple of months? Because I might have to come with you. No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides... I was on break when it happened. Okay, you can take that smug look off your face now. I help too, you know. Ugh, so what are you gonna do now then? We just killed a pretty well-known person in this town. Things aren't gonna be the same here anymore. I don't know. I won't be staying, I know that. Don't see much point in anything right now, except hunting legionaries. Maybe I'll wander. Like you. Like me? Hoo hoo, you wanna be careful there, buddy. I haven't exactly been good at simply wondering. I got shot in the head doing that, but, uh, well, that's a different story. But, you know what? Maybe you should come with me, because I've met legionaries on two separate occasions today. You might get lucky. You don't want to do that. Oh, damn. You know, as far as rejections go, that was pretty blunt. Well, good luck hunting legionaries on your own then. Uh, although, when was the last time you heard of snipers working alone? You know what? You were in the military, so you should know this better than me. <laughs> yeah. Working on your own, you're a lot less effective. I've been there and paid for it. But this isn't going to end well. Fine. Oh! Um, Let's get out of here. Okay, sure. That was easier than I thought. You're not going to just take all my stuff and leave me by the side of the road, are you? Not unless you give me a reason. Oh, I think you'll be surprised. 